Well, hello, cyclists. Good old Rick here. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. Start a bike ride at 36 minutes after 10. 25 minutes earlier than yesterday. Stage 4, Giro d'Italia ended earlier. Earlier than yesterday. Plus, I didn't mess around getting ready today. I'm riding my Canyon Enduray CF7 bike today. Weather, 81 degrees, humidity is 83%. That's bad when the humidity is higher than the temperature. Dew point is like 74 degrees. 80% cloud cover. Winds out of the south at five miles an hour with some gusts. I think it was 11 miles an hour gusts. High today's probably going to be in the mid 80s, maybe a, a degree or two higher than that. Today's ride going to be another. Trying to make it another 40 mile plus, maybe even as much as 45 miles. Still trying to make up the lost miles to get to my goal. 749 mile goal for the month. Today's route is what I call Kingwood Stroker Road Kingwood. We're going to go south and east. East on Port Atascacita Road, Ramsey Road South. The Stroker Road, Stroker Road to FM 2100, and then north to FM 1960. West, and back through the Tascacita Shores, Kings River, and back to Kingwood. Some of these areas that I'll be going through might have flooded last week in the rain. I'm on the Greenbelt Trail, riding south parallel to Westlake Houston Parkway. Looks like we got a tree limb down. I don't know if the ground is going to be hard enough for me to ride around or not. <coughs> Looks like there's a lip there, so I'll play it safe. Walk around. Yeah, it looks like it's a couple of limbs have come loose from the tree. We'll be on the, we're now on, or I'm now on uh, Kingsview Drive, riding through Kingwood Greens. The beat beat at uh, just hit 10.0 miles. 27 minutes after 11. On Saturday, this is where I turned back because the street was flooded. Starting about here, looked like it had maybe two or three feet of water. Which leads me to believe that Kingwood Greens Drive around the corner here was flooded as well because it's even closer to the river. All the water's gone obviously. I'd say things have returned to normal before we had all the rain and flooding. Riding through Oakhurst on the street that fronts Lake Houston. I think this is Vantage View. I've seen one yard with flood debris and a vacant yard a lot between two houses. I don't know if the water got into the, to the houses, but the water came up probably within. 
20, 30 feet of the street. 2017, during Harvey, the street flooded on the right side. On the left side, the houses are just high enough that they didn't, I don't believe they flooded. 16.2 miles, 54 minutes after 11. Riding back to FM 1960 to go over Lake Houston. Riding east over Lake Houston. Lake doesn't look too abnormal. Roadway doesn't look like it's had any flooding on it. Eighteen point six miles, and it is four minutes after twelve. Nearing the eastern shore of uh, Lake Houston, uh, looking down at the uh, Lake Houston Brewery restaurant. Looks like they have that the water was high. Their restaurant was flooded. Looks like they're washing things down over there. Riding east on Old Tascacita Road, approaching Ramsey Road. Let's see. It says they're going to be a road closure starting May 1st through June the 5th. In previous rain events and flooding, this section of Oda Tascacita Road has been underwater. You can see that it possibly was this time as well over on the right hand ditch. All the dirt and debris washed from the pasture. Twenty-four point three miles times twenty-seven minutes after twelve. And Ramsey Road. I want to turn right. Looks like that road is open. Yeah, I see construction vehicles over here on the left. Gathered. Riding south on Ramsey Road, I'm going to be going into the wind. It's going to be some hard pedaling to uh, Stroker Road. Looks like they're still working on transmi electric transmission wires. Center point. And some contractors, subcontractors are working. Looks like that's the road that's closed. This road's open. This is Ramsey Road. As uh, I was saying about old Atascacita Road flooding and past rain events, Ramsey Road through this area has done, has flooded as well. I'm not seeing anything on the road that indicates flooding. 
the pasture is muddy. Over there, the ditch doesn't look particularly loaded up with debris or anything. Strong headwind. Twenty five point two miles, thirty one minutes after twelve. A pasture grassland looks like it's had water in it. Flooded grass farm land to the right west. Somebody's bumper. It's like they're working on this road, which needed it. Yeah. This is Ramsey Road at Peters Road. We're going to turn left, do a little dog leg, and then back onto uh, Ramsey Road. Then on down to uh, Stroker Road, where I'll turn right. 26.3 miles. 37 minutes after 12. Fields over to the left. Look pretty normal. Don't see any standing water. Headwind is pretty strong. It's definitely more than five miles an hour from when I started. I shifted to the 35, 15 gears. My legs are working hard just to turn those gears into the wind. Okay, we're turning right on the Stroker Road. Big sign here says Tom S. Ramsey, PE, professional engineer, commissioner of Precinct 3, Harris County, doing road improvements. They did resurface this Stroker Road a while back. I guess that might be what they're still referring to. I'm on my way back to Stroker Road will take me back to FM 2100. No signs of high water here. Well, no, not really. 27.4 miles and it's 42 minutes after 12. Cattle. Hunting for some shade. Riding west on Stroker Road. Continuing to FM 2100. Broker Road at FM 2100. I'm going to turn right. Head to 
Huffman, I think 1960. Maybe uh, the crosswind that I was riding through on Stroker Road will be a tailwind on FM 2100. 29.4 miles. 51 minutes after 12. Now timing might coincide with the uh, Amtrak Sunset Limited passenger train passing through. Huffman. Approaching Spanish Cove Drive from the south. Riding on FM 2100, headed north. Wind is uh, tailwindish. Helping me along. 31.3 miles. 58 minutes after 12. Next cross street road will be the old Atascacita Road. Approaching the railroad crossing in Huffman at FM 1960 and FM 2100. <coughs> Doesn't look like there's going to be any Amtrak Sunset Limited. For a while, passenger train or uh, freight trains going west, which is not very often that that happens. Almost always, the trains are going the other direction, west to east instead of east to west. 32.9 miles, three minutes after one. I'm at uh, East Lake Houston Parkway in FM 1960. I'm going to stop at Donald's Donuts. I didn't have anything, any snack before I left for the ride. And I'm running low on energy. I think they're open. Well, Donald's is closed. They close at 1 o'clock. And it is 16 minutes after 1, so I missed them. Back to FM 1960. See what kind of energy I have for the 10 miles to the end of the ride. I'm in Kings Harbor riding on Magnolia Cove Drive. Saturday and the street was about two feet underwater. Maybe a little less. Back at uh, Kings Harbor, <coughs> they were picking up debris, flood debris in the, I don't know what you call it, the area that they recently constructed by Zametti's down closer to river level, lake level.
back to Westlake Houston Parkway. Running on King's Crossing Drive. <laughs> on my way to Kingwood Drive. You can see the salt. It doesn't feel that hot outside, but got lots of salt. On my arm sleeves and probably on my shorts and jersey as well. See if I can get the camera turned around. Show the salt deposits. <coughs> Saturday, this area was flooded. The street was covered with water. <clears throat> that was back while I was stopped at King's Crossing and Kingwood Drive waiting for the traffic light to change. A Tesla Cybertruck came through the intersection. First one I've seen in Kingwood. 